vision of Penn football being here for four decades, it's really what I came into, which was a great tradition. You know, the grit and grind, the, the blue collar mentality. And Quaker are the 2010 Ivy League champions out. When I took over the program, I really looked at it was, okay, what were we missing? We were faulting a little bit, small percentage in each area. Uh, and I, I phrased it with the players. I said, our shoes weren't tied. If your shoes aren't tied, you keep on tripping, your shoes fall off, you can't run fast. Boom, boom, boom! Let's go, let's go! Ironically, in the couple of transitions that I've been here at Penn, that was the greatest thing we made the turnaround back in, in 92. Doing the little things right. You don't get called to hold you on that. You can't take the guy and throw him to the ground, right? Watch the ball! When you talk about uh, a university at the University of Pennsylvania that uh, prides itself in, in kind of being the, the, we're not the ivory tower Ivy League, we're the blue collar Ivy League and, and our football program is going to um, represent that and I think Ray represents that. Coach Priori has been here for 20 plus years so him taking over it was a smooth transition. All the guys feel pretty comfortable and confident with him coming in stepping up as the new head coach. Early in the process I, I, I took an assessment of everything and really looked at the way we can take a program that's a 10 and make it a 12, as well as going out and getting a big time Division I staff. Uh, I think the hires that I've made on both sides of the football have been uniquely uh, important in building the program to where we needed to get to. When he gave, the, gave me the opportunity to come here and uh, really take his job, I was all in. I raised the right guy for the job. He's done a great job in uh, the six months I've been here of implementing his style, his approach. There's a true uh, more of an honesty to the student athlete that's fun to be around uh, when you stay in college athletics. An opportunity to help rebuild something that has been traditionally very strong uh, and to be a part of that I think is also very intriguing. The ability to take a football program that uh, has had a couple rough years and get it back to the top is a challenge that I welcome. With the offensive coordinators coming in and the defensive coordinator, they came in like a bat out of hell. I mean, they, they came in really, really running things. Uh, there was kind of no misstep. Spring ball was great. Putting in a new defense with new terminology is a very challenging task. But at the end of the day, it went really well. Coach Benson, um, he's, a, he's a wild man, a wild card. Um, everybody on our defense, we, we love it. Um, we love the energy. It's really contagious. We feed off it. Most of what I've done is just simple trust. Build the trust, take people that don't know you, and uh, get them acclimated to you, get them acclimated to your system, and uh, get them playing fast. Hey, nickel, dimes, all in. I'm actually a, a huge fan of the new offense. It's up-tempo, however, it's, it's still under control. I fit the mold just the way we're going to recruit uh, players that hopefully fit the mold of Philadelphia and being blue-collar and having a hard-hat mentality and being willing to excel not only in the classroom but to work and excel you know, in everything else that they're doing. We promise the recruits to come to Penn a couple of different things. One is obviously a world-class education when they get here. Two is that in late November, we'll be playing in meaningful games. In my tenure, I have 10 championship rings. Okay, so we've, we've won there on the field. And as importantly, or more importantly, is that we're gonna prepare them for those opportunities later in life. The way I want to leave the University of Pennsylvania is uh, leave it as, as a winner. At the end of the day, we have, we have good players. I think uh, they're all in. I think they are dying to experience the success of the past. Freshman year, when we won our ring, some of us participated a little bit, but didn't have really big roles. Now that we're seniors, it's our job to get the team and the tradition back. We had really good football players. We have really hungry football players right now that need to be led in the right direction. And we're real excited about getting into the upcoming season.